there's six dragons in my deck. So yeah, this might go really bad. It might go well. Let's try it. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I tried to queue both ranked and unranked. Oh, that went quick. Pira! <laughs> oh, nice to see you, man. If you don't know, Pira won the last um, uh, the last lottery I made with um, with a game key. So he unfortunately does not have the full collection, so this might be um, a bit unfair. We'll see. Just gonna tell him on Discord. Good luck, have fun. Maybe he's even watching the stream. So, he's playing Elder Word Hermit. Uh, I wish I had my um, uh, ground check. So, now I'm not really sure what type of land I should make. I will. I'll make a mountain. And I will play my choreographer. Because then next turn I can collect one more fairy. Now we hope he doesn't run Falcon Dive, or at least doesn't have it at the moment. Um, the reason why I chose to make a mountain now is because in case he plays something else that I feel like I should have to deal with quickly, I'll be able to kill it with Flame Burst. What is this? <laughs> Alright, so... He did not play anything. So I will play a lake. I want to get up to three lakes so I can start using uh, my Ninja Toad. <laughs> I should have asked this like half hour ago, but how are things? Is the volume okay? and Things working okay. Can you hear me fine? Like this, for example, I might want to choose my uh, shoot down with flame burst just so he uh, cannot get access to both the area. Is that a good play? I think I want to play my explorer here so I can play a land here otherwise I will not be able to summon creatures in the future to directly collect the fairy I'm gonna do this uh, uh, I don't know if I should but I'm doing it let's see I'm a little bit Worried he's building so aggressively. So we have um, and then we summon a creature with five life more game plus one plus one. Okay, so we're gonna have a special appearance. Uh, Dan Felder, uh, the um, I think elite balance person on Feria wants to join on Skype. So just give me a second. I'm gonna call him up quickly. If 
I remember how to do it. I'm just gonna make my turn first. Uh, this is starting to get scary. I will land here. Put this here. Put this here. Get a lake here. Now I can use my ninja toad, but it would just die, so I don't see the point in that. Uh, this is starting to look a bit scary. Next turn I will be able to play a cool ass dragon though. Um, unfortunately I don't have two um, mountains or I would be able to do it this turn already. But I think I just... Uh, Pass the turn. Hey there. Hey Dan. How's it going? I'm getting crushed by Pira, so I'm starting to regret giving him that game key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had I had epic games against him earlier. Um, I was playing blue. I was playing blue yellow, and I was saying uh, events. And I'm like, all right, this deck's pretty fun right now. It's got an it's got an interesting game against vicious. Not very good, but it's it's fun. But it's really weak to blue yellow rush. As long as we don't queue into that, then I appear played it twice in a row against me. <laughs> like I had the unfortunately, I did do a commentary on it, but I can't upload them because they're like insanely high quality. And uh, also, my sound levels were wrong because I was recording for the trailer just beforehand, so it would take uh, like sixty years to upload, um, which is sad. And also, you can barely hear my commentary. But it's it's tragic because I fought this valiant battle with this horrible matchup and proved the power of you know, <laughs> strategic placement. <laughs> well, but right now, I'm just crushing with with uh, blood rush. I mean. Um, Red Rush right now, like I, I did when I did my first episode on, is insane. Everyone's trying to get greedy with one, uh, one, one, one harvesters. You just play Ground Shaker, you clear their whole board for no penalty whatsoever. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you, uh, if you were in my stream earlier, but I, um, I explained the deck I'm running and I said, and I'm running Ground Shaker because Dan says everyone should. So. Ah, uh, he saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that I 100% agree with. Um, obviously, I said it, but it's true. I mean, the card is just supposed to be a win condition. Like, you play defensively. Like, somebody was asking me, what do I use red for to win with? Like, uh, what do I put in? And it's like, Flamebringer? I don't know what's going on. And I was like, you just play Ground Shaker. It's like, yeah, but what do I win with? And I said, you play Ground Shaker. <laughs> what do I win with? You play Ground Shaker. And they finally, like, went and did it. And I, they came back and they said, I play Ground Shaker. <laughs> <laughs> The card is nuts. It used to be a five eight for one mountain le for just one mountain. That's the type of stuff you do when you're balancing for like limited first, and then you <laughs> go to construct it. And you're like, I guess, and like that was the that's how I won the entire first tournament. Was just playing ground shakers and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, unfortunately didn't draw it yet. Would be pretty good right now. Which was really funny because at the time people were thinking like, I remember like one person was arguing, I don't want to name names. I like giving credit when people are doing something brilliant. I don't like giving credit when someone's making a mistake just because we're all learning the game. But one <laughs> of the testers was saying like, um, I don't know, nothing in red is worth running. And someone's saying, you really even ground shaker? It's like, that card's not even good. And then it's just like, <laughs> agizing in the balance testing afterwards, just because I just play two ground shakers next to the opponent's orb. And what do you do? Because then again, they were five eights. <laughs> <laughs> and they came a turn faster because they were one mount less. It was just su super dumb. Yeah, you are definitely getting crushed. Um, yeah. 
Flamestorm uh, Dragon offers hope, doesn't it? Whoa. I think you play it aggressively, don't you? Like, there's no way you're going to... I guess you could try to fight the 12 power, but I think you need to... I want to play my dragon, and then next turn kill it with my toad, but I'll take so much damage. You can do Flame Burst. I think you play the dragon near his orb, Harvest, and then kill his thing next turn. Hmm... You need, you need to win is the thing. You need to figure out a way to actually win this game. Yeah, but the problem, if I play the dragon now, uh, this guy, the it will get plus oh, five and plus... Oh, the Elderwood. I'm sorry, you're totally right. Holy I, di I didn't realize that that card was on the board. I'm just glancing in between playing my own and, game. Okay, well, I'm in trouble. Ah, play fast. You need to kill the one one first. Oof, I need to do like that so that he also dies when... I no, I think you just do it anyway. I think you just flamestorm. I don't think you can afford to to worry about it, and you have to hope. I don't know how delayed the, uh, the stream is, but I chose to play my... Yeah, I, I'm just seeing it right now. Uh, because then I will wipe the entire board with the dragon, unless you play yeah. something. But yeah, I th I'm in very big trouble, I feel. But this is good. He's playing a yeah, lot I of these small guys. This is probably your best chance. The problem is he's going to play... Another <laughs> now I lost. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Oh, I'm in a game. Wonderflux. Hello, sir. By the way, I'm getting so many extra points right now because like Shotgun went on a rant in the general um, <laughs> and saying like Fat Waryak can't be beaten and like, you've auto lose. Um, we are actually talking about nerfing Waryak. I'm 100% sure we're probably going to do something about it, but it is actually, it's not unbeatable if you actually play against it correctly. Which I'm, on, I'm off perfectly happy about? to face them. But the funny thing about it was that he um, went on a rant about it, people saying it's unbeatable. So now when I play that people just concede. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. What the deck or card are you talking about? Waryak. It's a fi the 5 Fairy of 5-5. Five five. Neutral. 5 Fairy of 5-5. Five five neutral. I'm not sure which one it is. That's, that's, all, that's all there is to it. There's no abilities. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to let him get his really big primeval Colossus Moon. Let him win the game. Yeah, he deserves it. <laughs> yeah, he crushed me really <laughs> hard. Oh, he's stream sniping. That's how. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> well, obviously he's winning then. <laughs> well, that's good. Then I have an excuse. Uh, we have 33 people watching right now. I think I never had this many viewers. Probably oh. thanks to you. So I'm gonna do this uh, giveaway quickly. My so, pleasure. So everyone who's interested in getting a fairy key, how about you type uh, key? in the chat right now, and I'll wait a few minutes, and then I'm going to uh, just randomly find the number, and then I'll see whoever gets the key. Cool. And um, answering Revolution's question in the chat, um, I cannot tell you what we're going to nerf yet, because the game is actually really precariously balanced. Um, the, like, there's things I want to nerf for various reasons, and if I do that, there's going to be chain reactions. So I need to make sure I've complete, considered the entire picture before we try to nerf anything. Um, otherwise, I mean, the game is no longer in a situation where it's just like, hey, we'll see what happens. No, we've done this for months, and we're in a situation here where things I think are actually fair, because I can beat anything with most decks, and by playing well, you can do that. But the problem is that there are some things that are just not as fun to play against. And we want to, The question is not what's too powerful. The question is where do we put the power? And we want, and ideally, you want to put power in the types of situations where p there the decks people enjoy playing. So vicious has a problem in that it forces every deck to play aggressive, and that's often people don't want to play aggressive. They didn't make their deck to play aggressive. So I, so long story short, I don't know what I'm nerfing yet because it's a complex puzzle. And if I nerf one thing because I think it's too good, it might make something else that isn't too good too good now. <laughs> So I need to nerf like a bunch of different things all at once and really understand it. So I'm going to spend the next week talking to people, watching games, and so forth. Just don't touch my dragons, okay? Um, oh, your <laughs> dragons are probably 100% fine. I mean, <laughs> 10 Faeria, anything over... Here's a secret. Once you go over 6 Faeria, it's so hard to play the card because you need to be committing stuff to the board regularly. Um, that we can just put a lot of extra power there. Um, six, seven is so much more than six. So we put it at 10 to really do it. So then we can just make them crazy and make them hilarious if you play them. But a really, but.